Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honor and Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and this is the cover of the old book. This is the second printing, 2005 was when this one was uh, reprinted and uh, put on the uh, bookshelves and stuff, but this is not available in book format right now, but you can get the PDF file for this uh, particular book, and when it gets re-released, it'll be a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse commentary, and not sure if Brother James will be putting these uh, outlines and stuff in the new book, but it'll be uh, good to see what he has in there in the new study as he's going through the whole entire book of Genesis this time around and having notes and probably breaking down the, the verses and stuff. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if you put these older ones in there or redo them in the different format. So amen. All right. So <clears throat> this is a devotional type of commentary when it was first released. The only one that Brother James ever done it in this type of um, style here, and so different topics and outlines throughout the uh, year, and we've come to the second day on this topic of Joseph and Potiphar, September 18th, and we'll read this here. It's only one page long. It's 334 in the book, so we started that yesterday, so if you missed the first one, you can go back and watch the first one there. If you missed any of these, you can go on the YouTube channel and watch those, and I'll give you the information at the end of the broadcast. So, um, before we get started, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already, and that's the most important thing you can ever do, is trust Jesus, believe on him, and he'll wash away all your sin, and give you eternal life, and then after that, the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of you, and, and uh, the Comforter, and then he'll teach you and guide you and direct you in all truth, and rule and reign in your heart and your life and your soul and all that as you uh, learn to live for him and be Christ-like each and every day and uh, have a good, close relationship with the Lord. And so that all happens after you get saved. <clears throat> Amen. And so let's go ahead now and get into today's topic for September 18th, titled Joseph and Potiphar, Part 2. And it says here, his master, verse 2. And Brother James writes this, it says, These are chilling words. No one likes the notion of being at the property of another. The loss of freedom to go, to choose, to be, is abhorrent to men, right? None of us want to be prisoner or property of another. Uh, none would find slavery welcome or comfortable. And he says here, I, uh, Brother James says here, I, I read books where white supremacists seek to convince us that Negro slaves in the antebellum uh, South were happy with their lot, yet none of these authors are convinced enough to sell themselves into a gulag. <clears throat> so if you don't know what a gulag is, it's a, I believe it's a dungeon that uh, was in castles way long time ago, and it's a deep, dark pit where they put you, and, and then they leave you there, and they forget about you, and then you die. <laughs> Because nobody remembers that you're there. And I think that's what that what that is, a gulag, if I remember correctly. Uh, doing research when, uh, on castles and stuff. When went to Germany um, a while back, uh, back in 2019, and was interested in uh, castles and all that. And, and then learned about this, uh, this dungeon here that it's just a big, huge hole in the ground in the way deep, dark part of the castle. And they just put you in there, and they just leave you there, and then they forget about you and... Then you just stay there until you uh, die, so or they remember you, which is probably very few that um, came back to to get these people out. So, <clears throat> so that's that. And continuing on, it says here now I have no experience here. He says, but I think it fair to say that as bad as it must be to be born into slavery, it has to be far worse for one like Joseph, to be ripped from a home where he was so loved and to suddenly be thrust into the position of a lowly servant. So here is submission, even in the worst of circumstances, right? Uh, this was only possible because Joseph never lost sight of the fact that God was ultimately in control and because he trusted him. I have been in some tough situations, Brother James writes here, and uh, most of us probably have. He says, I've been in some tough situations, 
knowing God was in control and been angry or bitter because God did not deal me a better hand. But Joseph not only knew this was the will of God, but had enough faith to know it would eventually be for the best. Uh, astonishing and rare is such trust. Yeah, so it is. And then continuing on, it says, Now think of our blessed Redeemer, who uh, ever had a more loving father, dwelt in a happier place, or knew greater comfort, love, and adoration. Yet Jesus left all of that and suddenly found himself a prisoner to the confines of a body of flesh. Suddenly he must sleep for he is weary, eat for he is hungry, drink for he is thirsty. He is God but in bondage. Suddenly he is not the author and giver of the law. Now he is compelled to live each moment within its restrictions, not just those decreed but those implied by the decree. And on every hand he must keep company with those who violate the commands. Yet the son of uh, yet the son so trusted the father that he bore it all with joy and gladness, serving God and man. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord that he came high to, down here to do that and to die for our sins and, and be uh, buried and rise again the third day. That he would come down here and uh, give up all that stuff to be a prisoner in this body of, in a body of flesh and to dwell among us and, and all that and then go to the cross and take the whole world's sin on his body. So... What, what a redeemer, amen? So that is uh, the end of part two of Joseph and Potiphar. <clears throat> and tomorrow will be part three, Joseph and Potiphar, part three, man's environment. So that'll be the topic for tomorrow for the 19th. And then the 20th, we have uh, part four on Joseph and Potiphar. And then part five on the 21st. And then on the 22nd, we have part six, which is titled Refusing Temptation. And then on the 23rd is the final part of this topic on Joseph and Potiphar. And then on the 24th, we have Joseph as Christ in Genesis 39. So that'll be <clears throat> that message there. And then on the 25th and 26th, we have another set of dreams and then interpretation. So that'll be the topics for the next week or so. So amen. <clears throat> All right. So that's it for today's uh, uh broadcast about um, Joseph and Potiphar, part two, and this is from the Book of Genesis uh, commentary series, the Christ Honoring Commentary series here by Brother James, and you can get uh, most of his books in print format at www.jameswnox.org, or go straight to the store part of the website, which is store.jameswnox.org, and look up the books there, and then the, also this one PDF file for this particular book. And like I said, it'll be re-released in a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse commentary when it comes back out. Not sure when that'll be. They're um, still doing proofreading on it, I think. Or it might be in the printer uh, right now and being printed. So I'm uh, not sure. haven't heard anything new on it. So <clears throat> hopefully it'll be sooner than later. And so that's that information. And there's also um, sermons that you can listen to or watch. And that's a video and audio format that you can find on the um, church website and then the youtube channel is james knox sermons youtube channel to watch the video presentations of the sermons from brother james and other men that teach and preach through the word of god and then uh, the um, radio bro broadcast that he does where he's been reading through the book of james and teaching through that book and so amen and then if you want to watch the um, baptist bread and scripture song broadcast and then this broadcast any of them you might have missed they're available either to watch on Facebook, if you're friends with me on Facebook, or the YouTube channel, which is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way, and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel. <clears throat> and uh, all these uh, Genesis ones are in a playlist, so you can go back and watch them all from the beginning to the to, to now if you missed any of them. So, amen. Good Good topics to uh, go through and then start a lengthier study if you want to do that. So this is just kind of an outline to get you started on a lengthier study, study of your own. So amen. All right. So that is the end of today's broadcast. So uh, thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.